Hello, my name is Andrew McLeish. I'm chef patron of Chapter One Restaurants. Today we're going to prepare a rump of Irish beef. So a nice sharp knife. We're going to remove the cap from the rump. You will notice I'm cutting the sinew, but I'm not cutting the actual the meat itself. So here's the cap removed. We'll just remove the excessive fat. Slide our knife underneath the sinew and take it away. So see the way I did that? I cut away from myself first. It gives me a little handle. Then I can cut back. So that's the cap. So from there, we're basically we're following the guideline of where the, the cut's going. So we're just going to remove some excessive fat. Underneath, I've turned the rump over. Underneath, I'm just going to extract this little fillet here. Beautifully tender piece. Okay, so far so simple. Uh, it's, it's natural the way these, these cuts came off. Here it's a little bit more complex. We're trying to find, there's a sinew that goes down here through there which will separate this, this piece out. And there's a cut in there which will take 50% of this out but we will leave this softer bit in the center. Just try and find with the tip of my knife this sinew that goes through the meat until I get to the thicker part here and then I'll cut through. So I've taken my meat here, I've exposed that sinew which will make the meat tough. There's the third cut there. And finally, take this in half here. Then I'll remove this sinew under here. It looks a little wasteful because I have this chunk of meat here. We can use that for, for mince, for sauce, anything else, but we're just taking it down that extra level. Okay, so here we have the prepped rump of beef. Uh, so we've got the cap here, which had the uh, beautiful fat on. We took the fat off, took it right down, so it's no sinew, no fat. Uh, the little fillet underneath that sits underneath the rump of the beef. Uh, the big eye of the rump here, which we took in half, took that sinew out, and the main eye of the rump as well. Uh, but they roasted beautifully well. And this is Irish beef. It's all been aged for 30 days. Uh, Grass-fed, so it has a nice earthy flavour that the English palate enjoys and, and knows.